Nancy Rogers at Norris, I have to assume that you have been very busy. <laughs> Joe, that goes without say these days. It's been a very trying year for the folks that we handle and manage. Um, at Nourish NJ, we are a organization that actually provides a stigma-free environment for anyone who needs, you know, food or struggling with, with hunger, poverty, homelessness. Um, we seek to resolve these underlying causes, not just, you know, adjust to the symptoms, but the causes. So with this COVID-19 pandemic, it's it's just been an amazing um, awareness for us to see how many more people in our community struggle to make ends meet. And uh, food is always the, the first uh, the item that's really um, considered a, an item you can eliminate from your, your household. And, and, and one of the things that we always feel is that no one should go hungry. No one should be worrying about whether they could put food on their table for their children, uh, for themselves, uh, deciding whether to pay a bill or put food on their table should never be an option for, for our, our, our community. They Sorry. are unable to put food on the table, right? Tell us what's that like when they come in, do you find them or do they find you? How does it work? You know, it's, 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 it's a great question. I mean, we, we've been around for 36 years and um, a lot of what we, the people that come to us is through referrals from their community neighbors because uh, very often people are afraid to come forward for food. They feel um, that they don't, you know, they just feel afraid. We don't have any criteria for helping people, so therefore we never turn anyone away. And that differentiates us from a lot of other organizations that are out there that are doing similar type of programs. Um, but because we're not government funded, we're totally funded by our community, we find that we are our doors are open to everyone. And it it is through word of mouth and through some of our other partner agencies who may not be able to accommodate some of the needs of our, our, our um, struggling folks, that they refer them to us. So we, you know, we are there. We've never turned anyone away and we've never closed our doors. And when the pandemic hit on a Friday into March 13th, we all sat down at, at our staff and basically said, how are we making this work tomorrow? We didn't even question if it could work. We just knew we were going to make it happen because we knew there'd be a, a tremendous number of people suffering as a result of this. So how are you able to get the funds to not turn anybody away? So we basically, I do a lot of fundraising for the organization. I do a lot of grant writing. Uh, we do a couple of, we didn't in 2020, but we have three annual fundraisers, but because of uh, COVID, we had to cancel them. They're in-person events. A lot of it is stewarding our donors, making, you know, making them aware of how important they are to us and how their help sustains the food that we have to buy. And um, we used to have an opportunity for people to make donations financially as well as with, you know, food items. But again, COVID has really caused us to change how we do our business. Um, and our funding is through the generosity of foundations like Investors Foundation, you guys have been a partner of ours for over 10 years, and you have been there for us to be able to continue to buy the food or help someone get a job or um, provide the medical assistance that they've needed during COVID-19. And uh, without the types of funding like, like Investors Foundation, we wouldn't be able to do it. Well, I know that Investors is thrilled to help you over all these years. And uh, best of luck to you and keep up the great work. Thank you. On behalf Thank of you, all. Thank you, Joe.